question 32 show that y equal to 3 e raised to 2x plus e raised to minus 2x minus 3x is the unique solution of the initial value problem y double dash minus 4y equal to 12x where y of 0 is equal to 4 y dash 0 equal to 1 we are given a differential equation with some initial values of the solution and in, uh, and we need to see whether this relation is a solution to this differential equation not just a solution we have to see whether it is in the unique solution to this differential equations uh, is to this initial value problem so first we first uh, what we will do is see whether uh, on substitution to this differential equation whether this relationship when substituted into this differential equation reduces this equation to an identity if that is the case it is a solution and we will see whether the, this equation satisfies this initial value problem initial values and we will use the uniqueness theorem to see whether this is a unique solution so that is the steps so first we are y double uh, noting down the givens y double dash minus 4y minus 12x equal to 0 this is the first equation now y equal to y equal to 3e raised to 2x plus e raised to minus 2x minus 3x is our given relation between dependent and independent variable now we can find y dash on 2 d by dx on 2 we get y dash equal to 6 e raised to 2x minus 2 e raised to minus 2x minus 3 so this is our equation 3 uh, just a reminder d by dx of f sorry e raised to f of x equal to f dash x into e raised to f of x we have used this uh, formula here if you see uh, e raised to differential of e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x into differential of 2x which is 2 so 2 into 3 6 6 e raised to 2x similarly we have applied that formula here so going back we need d uh, y double dash so d by dx on equation 3 we get y double dash um, is equal to 12 e raised to 2x plus 4 e raised to minus 2x so this is equation 4 we got our y dash and y double dash uh, now we will see whether the differential equation reduces to an identity when we substitute uh, so let me zoom out a bit so that we can sorry. so using this we can write uh, using using 2 and 4 in 1 we get y double dash LHS becomes y double dash is 12 e raised to 2x plus 4 e raised to minus 2x minus 4 times y 4 into 3 e raised to 2x plus e raised to minus 2x minus 3x minus 12x so this is the LHS sorry this is the LHS which becomes 12 e raised to 2x plus 4 e raised to minus 2x minus 12 e raised to 2x minus 4 e raised to minus 2x plus 12x minus 12x this becomes 0 so therefore LHS equal to RHS it is an identity 0 equal to 0 so this function is a solution to our differential equation uh, we have 
shown this function is a solution to the differential equation and we can see whether this initial values are satisfied y of 0 and y dash 0 we need this equation 2 and y dash 0 3 2 and 3 to check that we will copy these values copy these equations to a new page So, uh, we need to check y of 0, y of 0 equal to 3 into e raised to 0, 1, plus e raised to 0, 1, minus 3 into 0, 0, is equal to 4, and y dash 0 equal to 6 into e raised to 0, 1, 6, minus e raised 2 into e raised to 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3, equal to 1. So we got our y of 0 and y dash 0 as 4 and 1. We can see that uh, y of 0 is equal to uh, 4 and y dash 0 is equal to 1 is the given values in the question. So it is also satisfied. So y is a solution. Now we have to see whether this solution is a unique solution to this problem. Uh, for that we need to apply uh, uniqueness theorem. I will just go through the existence and uniqueness theorem once. So for a second order di linear differential equation a0x into y double dash plus a1x into y dash plus a2x into y equal to rx. Uh, we can apply this uniqueness theorem. Uh, given certain conditions are satisfied. Uh, what are the conditions? A these a0x, a1x and a2x and rx in a given interval a to b should be continuous functions. So it should be continuous and this a0x should not be equal to 0 for any value of x in that interval a to b. Uh, so we have this function and for we have defined interval a to b and no uh, no values in that interval when substituted here should not res should result in a0x zero as 0. So this y double dash term should not vanish that is the thing. Uh, so uh, and then if that two conditions are satisfied then we can say there exists a solution uh, y of x of uh, 1 satisfying y of x0 is equal to c1 and x0 is a point in a2 interval a to b and y dash x0 is equal to c2 and this y, da y of x0 is equal to c1 and y dash x0 is equal to c2 satisfying these two uh, uh, these two uh, y of x uh, that y of x will be a unique solution uh, for this equation differential equation and uh, in uh, and that solution is defined in the interval a to b so this is the uniqueness existence of uh, existence and uniqueness theorem so here if you see we have uh, x0 in here x0 y, y of x0 is equal to c1 and y of x0 is equal to c2 x0 is 0 uh, here x0 is equal to 0 we need to define an interval what we can do is we can define an interval minus infinity to infinity we, uh, and x0 is equal to 0 so 0 is a point inside this interval and if uh, this is our differential equation. We let me do, let me do uh, copy this to a new page. So this is our equation. So I will write the general form here: a zero x y double dash plus a1 x y dash plus a2 x y equal to r of x. So this is this was the general form uh, se uh, uh, second order linear differential equation uh, in, in the uniqueness theorem. We can when comparing comparing we get a0 x equal to 1 a2x equal to 
സോറി എ വൺ എക്സ് എ വൺ എക്സ് എ വൺ എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് ഫോർ എ ടു എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സോറി എ വൺ എ വൺ എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ദിസ് ഇസ് സീറോ എ ടു എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് ഫോർ ആൻഡ് ആർ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വെൻ വി ബ്രിങ് ട്വൽവ് എക്സ് സോ വി ഗോട്ട് അവർ ദീസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ സോ ദീസ് വി ക്യാൻ ക്ലിയർലി സീ ദാറ്റ് ദീസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ഇൻട്രവൽ മൈനസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ടു ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ഈസ് എ കൺ ആർ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് എ സീറോ എക്സ് എ വൺ എക്സ് എ ടു എക്സ് ആർ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ദീസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആർ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഇൻട്രവൽ സോ ഇൻ സോ ആൻഡ് വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് എ സീറോ എക്സ് is not equal to zero since it is a constant it is not equal to zero for any x interval to uh, x element of minus infinity uh, minus infinity to infinity so in this in for n- no values of x in this interval a zero x is uh, zero so that is also satisfied this is continu- these are continuous function that is also satisfied so uh, for so using uniqueness theorem which uh, we can say that for the given y of y what was our uh, y y equal to 3 raised to 2x uh, plus e raised to minus 2x minus 3x minus 3x with Uh, is a unique solution to the initial value problem where uh, y of 0 equal to uh, 4 and y dash 0 y dash 0 equal to 1 unique solution to this initial va- uh, value problem uh, with differential y double uh, y double dash minus 4y equal to 12x so this different with initial values uh, f- this is um, this uh, uniqueness theorem can be applied and we can say that uh, this is uh, this is a solution and a unique solution so so this is the solution to the question number 32 we applied the uniqueness theorem uh, to see whether this solution is a unique solution